All right, what you see here is a Hampton Bay carousel ceiling fan. This is an older version compared to the other one that I have. That is from either 1995 or 1997 or 1996. I'm not sure how old this one is specifically. As it's, it's kind of has a rather interesting date code on it. But um, at some point when I am able to finally get it decoded, I'll post it in, in the description. Now I bought this fan off of Aiden's ceiling fan corner. You guys probably have seen this quite a few times on his channel. He has done numerous of videos on it. So definitely go ahead and check his channel out. Now I got this for one reason only, well two reasons. One is an older version of the Handle Big Carousel with the logo on the switch housing, which I've never seen before. But also, as you notice, the paint job's a bit interesting. It's not glossy like the other versions that you usually see. And also have four colored light bulbs in there. Well, this party light bulb that they sell, I got them at Ace Hardware. Because for this for the this specific fan, I feel like it's even more fitting for the reason that this one has reflective a black light reflective paint on it. So I'll turn on the black light and turn off the other one. As you can see, it reflects off of the black light. Now the other carousels that I have does not won't do this at all. This one does. So yeah, now I know there's a guy, um, the guy that owns Tubular Tots down in Florida, he originally had said that they never made a carousel with black light reflective paint like this. Here I am proving that wrong. Now, not to say that that he knew that about them, because that's just it. Nobody even knew about these until um, this one popped up. I think there might have been like one or two people that said that they saw them on the display at Home Depot, but sometimes memory can serve us wrong. So having this one here definitely proves the point that they actually did make them with this black light reflective paint. Though they only did it for like a very short time period. This specific one is made by CEI. This could very well be the first version of the carousel that came out. It's either this one or the SMC Park Avenue version that it's basically an SMC Park Avenue, I think, or something like that with the spotlight integrated and all that with the SMC events and the switch housing and such. It's a picture of one like uh, on Google where the spotlights don't hang down like that. They kind of go more outwards and kind of like an older K4B one and such. And that's the SMC version. But, um, yeah. I'm going to go ahead and turn the light back on. Turn off the black light. And here are the lights in action. I like that, my local Ace Hardware still sells these older incandescent styled party light bulbs. Normally I would test it with a red one, but since this one can glow in the dark, I figured it'd be more cool to show it with multicolored lights while it's glowing in the dark. Now to show off the light and see how it does lighting wise. Yeah, it really doesn't light up the space too well, but now to see it with the, with the black light. Yeah, definitely. In person, it looks pretty cool if the light's on. Um, I do think that if the if these were LED ones, not the queer ones like this one. This is the LED one I'm using as a black light. I got it at Home Depot. Um, if they were like those plastic rainbow ones that they've been selling, I feel like it would look a little bit better in terms of um, how it responds to the black light because this one with the glass and all that kind of reflects off it a little bit. And such. Like I feel good with those plastic ones that look more like this one, but just with the rainbow or the color it is on top. I feel like um, 
it would kind of I don't know like it's it seems like it's kind of fighting off the coloration of it when these ones are on because these ones are actually the the whole bulb is the color of the color that it is at and such whereas the LED version is just plain white on the bottom um yeah these pull chains are not original to it I actually got these off of eBay they were like a dark brownish finish. Same one, same type that I used on the um, Fasco Charleston when I tested that. However, I got a Sharpie and painted these black because that's what this would have came with originally. So I figured I'd try to match it as close as possible. Now this spotlight is busted. I am using some tape to hold it in place for the video. That whole thing does need to be replaced, the, the arm itself, but since I'm not really installing it anywhere permanently and such for the time being. For our testing purposes, I'm just using some tape that I sharpied up just to make it more presentable for the video. But yeah, it's definitely one of my favorite fans I've gotten in my collection. I mean, a lot of people have seen these fans as a kid and a lot of people have seen the California, have wanted a California surfer, but my Beverly, Hills Fan Company, which is basically what the Hendrick Carousel is a knockoff of. So the fact that I was able to, well, Aiden was able to find one that was a knockoff of that, but also have the black light reflective paint, that's something that nobody's really seen them before. So um, yeah, let me go ahead and start the fan off on the low speed. The spotlights are pretty loose. They're not really in place like my other carousel. <clears throat> and that buzzing sound is not the fan. It's this light right here. That's the other reason why I kind of wish I had the plastic LED ones, but I figured also to give it more of a 90s feel, it's better to use the incandescent ones. This specific one right here. There we go, that might be. There's the bulb vibrating against the um, side of the spotlight. There we go, that's a bit better. It does go a bit fast on the low speed compared to the one that I have from my childhood. It does hum quite a bit, but I am using a mounting bracket that isn't from this one, it's actually a different one. It did come with the mounting bracket, I just have no clue where it is at the moment. So I'm just using one that would fit it. And it also doesn't have any like of those rubber insulation pads above it, so that definitely adds to it humming and such. Now, some people were, especially me, were thinking that this is probably an Ancon Festival relabel. And I thought that was the case too, because back around this time in the late, in mid to late nineties, or more, I guess like more so in the mid nineties, there was a few Hampton Bay models that were actually Ancon just under the Hampton Bay logo. So like the Hugger version of the Hampton Bay Minuet, that one, there was an originally a version that wasn't made by SMC, that was actually made by Encon. Um, the Hampton Bay Rockport, or a version of it, that um, I know that Nathan has, is um, the Hampton Bay Carriage House, there was a time that that was made by Encon as well. And a few others, I'm pretty sure, but I was thinking that was the case of this because it does look almost identical to the um, Ancon Princess, or not the Princess, the Ancon Festival. But seeing it in person and seeing the videos of it, like all together in person and seeing the videos of the Ancon one, it definitely does look a little bit different. Just a tiny bit, like there are some tiny differences. It's kind of hard to describe what they are, but on um, the green, especially, I feel like it's a bit more brighter on this than the Encon one, or the Encon one, I think it's a bit more darker green. 
and that's gonna drive. show off the light and then I'll go ahead and show off the black light. I am going to be doing separate videos of it with the black light only, but I think I just kind of mix it in with this as well. Now, as much as I think this one is cooler than the one from my childhood, I do feel like it's a lot more cheaply built compared to that one. Like the metal parts and the, just the housing seems a bit cheap, fl more flimsier. I know like the one from my childhood, that's an air cool made one. And obviously air cool is a bit more better quality in terms of like the build compared to ECEI. But yeah, I know like this fan I can definitely see like in an arcade. So I get to order a really old Chuggy Cheese bonkers for example back when they were still there i could see saw it there ways attack places that like and such party places like this is so many places i could see these in all right now the, so the black light let me just Yeah, I've had this for quite a few months. I just figured I'd wait until summer, like when it's closer to summer, because it just gives me more like a summer feeling out of it, like going to arcades in the summer. Now, when I do the videos of it with the, this is the all black light look, I do have two other black lights I'm going to be putting in the lamp that I'm using. So they'll, the colors will definitely look more like, it will definitely be a bit brighter on the video, if that makes sense. But... All right, now to move it up to medium. I know it's gonna start. I probably should have tightened those sockets before putting it up for the video, but I did not think of that, but yeah, that's good enough. That's the one's going to give me a big headache. When it's like that, I won't be able to move around, move around as much. It's more so that they're both glass, but it's something I've noticed with spotlights. When they, if you like put a light bulb that's glass and such, sometimes they can, they'll do that. I kind of do like that the spotlights, at least with them being a bit more beat up, that they point more downwards and not like straight into each angle, because I feel like if I was to like see it in an arcade or something like that out in 
probably go to look more like this, where instead of like pointing in like straight out. Yeah, there were times when I actually had to carry some of my living room with these type of lights as well. But then my mom said it was better not to have it like that because it wouldn't give off that much light, which was true. Because that fan was the main source of our lighting for that living room at the old apartment and such. I mean, yeah, we had a lamp in the corner, but I mean, we more often use the, one, the lights on this carousel. Now I think that this one probably came out after the SM before the SMC one because I can't see them going from black light reflective paint or like starting off with non black light reflective paint to going to black light reflective paint and going back to non black light reflective paint. If anything, they probably start off with this one first and then stop doing the black light reflective paint on it. black light with the lights off on it mm -hmm. yeah like even like roller skating places and such i can see this out there was a roller skating place somewhat n near like where nathan lives or more so like on the highway in that area that um they had like a black light look to it which i thought was super cool sadly they closed down due to the pandemic I hope they might reopen. There's some places I know that they closed down and they were able to reopen. So now I would not install this in a bedroom and such, only because I would not fall asleep looking at something like this, especially with the black light. Reflective paint. I'd have it like in a game room or something like that for a question. I don't know if they still made a carousel like this. I'm not sure if they could still do it if it was had like a glossy look to it. Probably not. But probably just more so that it's costing them a lot more to make it like this. So they figured it'd be cheaper just to make it with regular rainbow paint. One thing I do like with the lights on it though is that at least when you have the black light on and then the spotlights on, it makes the other blades that don't show up too well with the black light more noticeable at least. Or if I'm gonna have all three of the lamps with black lights, they show up without no issue. Because this time I'm using only one right now that the blades don't show up too well, like the red and the other one. Yeah, I think about just doing the video of them combined like this, but I'd rather do like a full out video of it just with the black light. All right, now to move it up to high speed.
No, I'm not surprised. I even looked at tape that the blue one's still bouncing around a bit. I mean, obviously it's going to loosen up as the fan's moving. But it's keeping it out of the way from the other three, which is, I feel, is more important. But no, it's definitely a really cool fan. Now, some people, somebody had commented on um, the post I did of it on Facebook. Um, who is this guy? 724 commented that it's could have been a possibility that maybe Beverly Hills fan company might have sued Hampton Bay for doing this. With the, like copying the exact paint job, which it is a possibility. Um, I'm not too sure, but um, I feel like it could have been the case with the Ancon too, but who knows. But as to why they stopped making a black light reflective is beyond me. Could also be that maybe like at the time the black light reflective stuff like this wasn't as po like much of a trend in the 90s at that point so like it was starting to die out maybe who knows but especially you have people who bought it they just wanted it more for the, a, being a rainbow fan not so much to be a fan that responds to black light to like the black light effect of and such so it's not like if they were selling it just for that reason like, to have it be a fan that responds to black lights, if that's what customers wanted more so than just it being a rainbow fan, that might probably could have been the case. Say it's pushing a good breeze. I'm not sure if it's moving more in than the other one that I have from my childhood. So it's been a little while since I've tested that one. It's definitely strong enough for me to like consider installing somewhere, but not like for a bedroom, obviously. Definitely like a little game room or something like that. I would definitely consider installing this one. I'd rather have the one for my childhood, but the fact that this one goes in dark kind of makes it more unique for that room, I feel. But obviously, I would definitely try to touch up the spotlights on it a bit, like fix those. Plus, I feel that with the colors not being glossed over, I feel like it makes the colors stand out a bit more on it. Especially with them being more like black light reflective, it makes the orange and green really stand out at you. Even without the black light. I was considering putting black light LEDs in there, like cheaper ones from Walmart, but those things, I was originally going to use some of those for the, to show the black light off of it, but those barely did anything, and plus I figured it'd be better to have rainbow lights in it. Now something like this is what you more likely see in it, like at that arcade and such, back in the day. I'm not sure if the other one that I have goes faster than this. This one might actually go faster, I'm not too sure. It's 
definitely a really cool fan. Like out of all the childhood fans that came to be here, so it's definitely my biggest childhood fan. For the reason I had the of the one being in my living room for all those years and such. I was telling the guy um, at the Ace Hardware about the plan with these light bulbs and such, and I was showing him how the thing goes in the dark. So he definitely told me, like, oh, when, once you get it up, definitely show me a picture of how it came out. See Ace Hardware that um, has a three hundred some degrees in the back area. I always go there for, like, stuff if I need parts. And if you don't have it there, then I go to Home Depot. But I always try to go to them first just because they're a local business and I'd rather give them my money versus Home Depot. Plus I've known those guys for years, the family that owns that one. It's not humming as bad as I thought it would with this morning bracket. Was rushing in a high speed. Oh yeah, if I was to put this in a game where I would definitely had to work on those spotlights. Get them more presentable. But more so just so they're not moving around so much. I know it's doable, I just don't know how to do it at the moment, but once I figure out how to do that, I'll do it. I mean, it's a common thing with the spotlights at, um, how do I say, where they don't, ha where they have the thing where it can go either this way or that way, instead of just up or, like there's the ones that you have to like turn the whole thing to get it like to point a certain way, or this one it just goes either left or right. I know some ones that are like that, those ones get a lot more, they tend to loosen up a lot more over the time. Yeah, like out of all the fans, I feel like this is like the one that I feel represents the 90s the most just because of like the neon colors and such. The amount of put like places that people would go to back then that have like dark light stuff like this, like stuff that had like a thing, like a '90s looking theme and, and such. And yeah, Aiden, if you're watching this video, I definitely am very grateful that you sold this to me and such. It's definitely a fan I'm very glad to have in my collection. At some point, I'd love to find all the versions of the carousels. I know the last ones that they made before, they just continue to know more five blade only. Mine, I'm pretty sure, is the one from my childhood is a four blade one on two. I just don't know how to configure that one like that. At the same time, I'm not the biggest fan of how these fans look with four blades, I think. Especially because if it has an orange switch housing, I feel like it just looks weird not having the orange blade on it. If it didn't have an orange switch housing, if it was a red one, that didn't have a different story.
Yeah, no, it definitely does push a good breeze, though, for being a home center fan. I mean, it's like 90 degrees out today, and it's actually cool. The basement's not really hot, thankfully, but it is, like, cooling down the basement pretty well. Do spin down. <clears throat> now, when it comes to me doing an iMovie remake, I'm not sure if I'm going to even show off the black light. I might just save it for the black light only look on it. I'm not too sure yet, but I'll, we'll see. Oh, you guys will find see once I get, once you, the video of it comes out. Yeah, I definitely do feel like the colors on this one look better than the one from my childhood. As much as I love that one, the orange and green on this, I think, look better on it. They really, even if it's just like a regular lighting, it, they really stand out more. They have more of a bold look to them and such. And so it seems to be starting to rain out a little bit. I usually try not to film when it's raining because it's not the sound in the background of it raining, I just don't feel, feel it's really pleasant to hear in a fan video and such. But since it's, it started after I film, started filming this, I'm not gonna cut the video now just to redo it, especially if it was more towards the end. Plus it's just at the point where I need to show it on reverse, so it's nothing wrong. Really important, and so like it's not like I was doing this throughout the whole entire video. Hi, it's making that sound again. something else that's causing that sound actually. It might just be because it's on reverse that's making more noise. Like sometimes it's a case of fans I've noticed. I'll show up the black light on reverse. I can tell is this fan definitely does not respond well to reverse.
I think it, it might be more so the... It might be like the lights, but also the mounting bracket that's on. If you just want to, I mean, that's fine. I'd even just had a vo volume on mute, just not hear the sound. Yeah, it's definitely the lights. It's a favorite green one again that's making all the noise. Reverse high. Interesting how when this one's on reverse, the back two spotlights seem to move more, but when it was on downdraft on high speed, the front two moved it more. That's very interesting. I kind of find it interesting, no doubt, when this film sold, it had the black screws, but the pole chains are still in brass. I, I think it would have been better if they had the pole chains black just to go with the screws and everything. That's what I would have done. I guess that's actually what I'd, pref I'd probably do with it. If I was to install, just give it black chains. I mean, aside from the spotlights bouncing around a bit, like even like on this feed, it's not really making that much sound either. So it seems to be more like the low and medium speed that makes a lot more noise, but on high speeds, for the most part, it's pretty silent. So that'll be it for this video. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed and stay tuned for more videos to come.